Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. And in this video, I'm going to review a bottle from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. This is the Society Distillery 3 Rare Cask. So I recently joined the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society and I did a video on 10 reasons why I joined the Society. One of which is you know, bottles that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get from a distillery because they don't bottle their own um, whiskeys. Or sometimes, and this is definitely the case, some whiskeys are better from an independent bottler, such as the Scott Malt Whiskey Society, than they are, you know, than the official bottlings they actually get from the distillery. So sometimes if you really want to experience the best that a distillery has to offer, you have to go to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society and this particular bottle. The Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is based in Edinburgh, Scotland, and it is the world's largest whiskey club with over 30,000 members around the world. In addition to access to cast strength, natural colored, non-chill filtered whiskeys delivered to their home, members also have access to private venues in the UK a must-visit destination for Scotch whiskey drinkers. Each bottle from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is identified by a number assigned to the distillery plus the number of the cask purchased from the distillery, then given a name by the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society tasting panel. In the United States, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society releases about 20 unique single cask whiskeys to its members every month. The Scotch Mountain Whiskey Society can be ordered online or by calling the member services team who will offer personal recommendations based on the preferences of each member. Members can also enjoy access to exclusive tasting events across the United States, plus educational content to expand their knowledge and appreciation of whiskey and a network of fellow enthusiasts to share their experiences. And your membership with the Scotch Mountain Whiskey Society begins at $99 a year. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society Distillery 3 Rare Release Time Travelers. It is a Bowmore 17 year old Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It was bottled in celebration of the Isla Whiskey Festival of 2022. It was aged in second fill hogshead. It is bottled at 57% alcohol by volume in a 700 milliliter bottle and sells for $270. So this is definitely a bottle that's gonna need some air. Uh, this is not a wham, bam, thank you for the dram, ma'am. Uh, it was somewhat closed and yet still, I'd say fairly expressive for a peated whiskey, uh, but it gets even better as you get past the shoulder. That generally seems to be the case with peated whiskeys. This one, if I was tasting or smelling a blind, I would not come to the conclusion that it was from Bowmore. It is like someone took a lemon and lime and, and intensified uh, the fruit character. This is one of the most fruit-centered scotches I've ever had. And then it's nicely framed with the smoke and the peat. It's not a smack upside the head, but it definitely makes its presence known. A little bit of salty sea breeze, some vanilla and baking spices. On the palate, hmm, wow. wow, 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 wow. Rarely do I ever describe a whiskey as being juicy, but it's like someone took lemon and lime, put some sugar on it because it is very sweet, and you just took a big bite into it, and and then the juice is just sort of gushing in your mouth and then following that is a nice waft of smoke and a little bit of chocolate and then some vanilla on the back end just a little bit of saltiness and it has a medium to medium plus length finish so it is very fruit forward and the peat comes along on the back end it's a gentler peat than say something from Lafroig or Ardbeg or even Lagavulin uh, but the peat and smoke frame it really, really, really nice. This is how, at least once in a while, at least a few bottles, at least something in the core range that Bowmore should be producing, but they don't. So if you want bottles that are better than from the distillery, you got to go to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. 
This is absolutely superb. I've been to Isla, visited all the distilleries that were open. Arden Ho wasn't open at the time, that was in 2018. I did a walk around of Bowmore. Um, got to taste some Bowmore actually there on the island that was from uh, the distillery that wasn't part of the core range and part of distribution, and they're very nice, but still not as good as this one. Now, what I'm going to give this one in terms of a score, I'm going to go a solid 92, 93 points, uh, potentially making my top 10 for 2022. An absolutely superb whiskey. Alrighty, uh, if you've not joined the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, um, I highly recommend it. But I know, you know, we all are on our own journey. We all got to make our own choices. But if you're finding it hard to get certain bottles and you're complaining that you don't have access in your local stores and you know, you're know struggling to find things, hey, here's someone who does the searching for you. Here's someone who finds the cash for you. And here's someone who delivers them the way you want them. So I highly, highly recommend joining the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. And until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.